Oh, well, my name is Fox Knight, so big game, Epic Fox, and welcome to another 9 bit reviews. This one, because a lot of shows. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm planning to probably do that every season finale or, po or. Every season finale for a show that's not a cartoon, you know, um, like uh, Gotham, like this one, and I think possibly like Doctor Who and stuff like that. I plan to do a review over the entire season rather than having where it's just the one episodes unless everyone out there wants to be like hey um let me get your knowledge on this episode or something like that then you know maybe i will start doing it by episode but either way um i wanted to do this one is part one or the first part of the season of um goth of gotham the second season rise of the villains which oh my freaking lord Penguin and Enigma are two of my favorite characters <laughs> in this entire season. Just so you know, there will probably be some spoilers, but I really did like this season, especially since the beginning, since, um, what the fudge is his name? The redhead dude who everyone thought, or not everyone, I just wanted to tell, like, it's not the Joker. <laughs> um, but the proto-Joker, or whatever, um, he was incredibly hilarious. Yeah, I liked him. He was, like, the closest thing we'll probably get. Yeah, he was, like, awesome as the proto-Joker, I'm going to be saying, because he's he had the laugh, he had the showmanship and everything, and it was really good. Um, what was her name? Uh, Barbara, which I don't know. I don't know how the future of Gotham is going to be. If it's going to be... Well, I'm hoping... I am extremely, extremely hoping... That Gotham is going to be the backstory... For the Ben Affleck Batman. I know they probably don't even look... Somewhat similar to the kid who plays Bruce Wayne... And Ben Affleck... But... I would extremely, extremely love... For this to be the backstory for that Batman. Because one... It would tie into the movies, which they freaking have to, which they should do with the Flash and Arrow, because that would be freaking awesome. They should take all the DC shows that are starting up, or the, and stuff like that, and of course the movies, and mo have them all melded together. If it means that um, Arrow and the Flash were around before Superman, fine, so be it. I don't really care. Just have it to where these heroes. All meet up because I want to see the Flash and Oliver Queen. I want to see the Flash from the Flash show and Oliver Qu and Air Green Arrow from Sh Arrow. I want to see them in the movie with Batman in them. It would be too. It would be freaking awesome. Especially since you see Arrow now turning a little bit more, um, the snarky kind of well, a um, little bit nicer. But anyways, I'm talking about Gotham. But this whole season is about the rise of villains. Like the first season, it was all right. Um, I was I was watching the first season like okay. The first season sometimes not as always the great is not always the greatest, but you do need to get past the first seasons for the um, company or like the channel or whatever to start throwing money at the the show. I'm like, okay, the first season, fine. It um, allows you to see all these different characters. It allows you to see all these different characters. You start seeing the the setup for them, and then you know then we go into second season two, where everything is finally happening. Which, Penguin at the end of season one going, I'm the king of Gotham! I'm like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, which, like, the first season was more... Um, what is it? That one was more mafia-based. Which, honestly, okay, yeah. Gotham is... Like, some people... I've read up things, like, people say, like, Gotham is... It's supposed... Or, like, they write it, like, where Gotham is supposed to be New York and stuff like that. I'm like, no, no, that's Chicago. Crime, extremely high crime rate, um, people shooting people a lot, um, and crazy people, <laughs> uh, the dark, a dark city, that's, that's Chicago, that's Chicago, uh, mafia, Chicago, <laughs> what is Chicago really known for, other than Michael Jordan, <laughs> Chicago, um, but, like, yeah, like, in Mafia Base, I understand that for the first season. This season, I extremely like, because it, it goes more into the superhero, it goes more into the super villains, which 
Nigma, you see him go from the, the timid character from the beginning of the first season and awkward as heck and kind of creepy to a straight up ser to a kid wants serial killer, but he kills a bunch of people and he starts going complete insane. And you also kind of see that um what is it? That the Riddler needs to be needs to write his name on things, basically. I believe that's I forgot what it's called. But like um he always says, oh, like, um, the reason why, like, Riddler could get away with a lot of crimes, but he always has to leave a riddle behind saying, come and get to me, Batman! Something like that, basically. So, like, you kind of, I kind of like seeing that, especially now, like, in the last episode I just seen, you see that a little more with, like, when he laughs, and, like, he's like, do you know where Jim Gordon is? He's like, yes, no. No, you, no, no, yes. Like, you see, like, even though his two sides are merged, they're also kind of conflicting and doing the whole thing where it's, he... He needs to. He needs to be known for doing this. He needs to be known for doing it, or be known, or somewhat be quote unquote caught doing it, which is awesome. Not to mention, I love um, the Penguin and like the Enigma show at that one point where Enigma was trying to bring Penguin back up to health because the two were awesome together. That was just. I don't mean in a. I don't mean like a um, PB Marsling kind of way, but I do mean in a sense of, um, well, I guess kind of a PB Marsling. No, I don't mean as a couple couple, but I mean I love their personalities screwing with one another. <laughs> like Penguin's like, you're you're just no no, and then later on they become like best freaking friends, <laughs> which I gotta look up to see if um, Penguin and Nick and um, the Riddler are friends at some point because I know I, I know sometimes the. Um, the villains do get together. Like, if you saw the animated series, apparently there's even an episode where they play poker together. Well, not um, Riddler, but um, Ivy, Joker, Bane, and Catwoman? I don't know. But, um... They were just... That was... <laughs> like, having those two characters together was freaking awesome, especially when you know where their future is heading. Um... The whole thing with the Dumas and stuff like that. One, I had no, I had never looked into the Dumas thing. I was, I was totally thinking, which I'm sure they might come up soon, is the Court of Owls. Which, okay, I haven't read the comic books, which I do want to buy the comic book with the mask because I like the mask and I'll probably wear it, even though like everyone comic people like, don't do that. In a few years, it'll be worth money. I'm like, I don't, okay, I, I, I still want to wear it and probably use it in a video, but um. I'm probably, uh, well, of course, it's probably through dimensional doors, but, yeah, like, that, um, uh, like, I was thinking the Court of Owls. No, 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 it's apparently this, the Church of Dumas, which I probably gotta look into a little bit more, you know, wiki that, but, that was pretty cool, Galavan, Galavan setting up all the villains, like, which I missed, like, two episodes, so I'm pretty sure I missed whatever happened to all, everyone else. All those crazy guys who let, got out with Barbara and the the Proto Joker. I totally miss what happened to all of them. Um, I saw up to where what happened to the Proto Joker, but yeah, like this was a. I liked the episode. I liked all these. I did like these episodes. First season, it did, it did trip and fall sometimes, but it was pretty cool. It also kind of cool seeing um, like the beginning episode of Gotham to where. Um, James Gordon let Penguin go free and then like the beginning of this season where it was a similar setup but he actually kills the man but accidentally and then the end of this season again spoilers end of this season he just straight up murders a man he just straight up murders a guy right there so it's kind of cool seeing like Jim goes from the hero who won't kill to the hero who kill who um who is falling deeper into darkness and then just jumps one well, deeper into the, I I'll say darkness, although darkness really isn't evil, but quote unquote darkness. And then you see the man go all the all the way deep into this. Which also there's a few funny parts too. Um I can't well, other than with um the Joker, proto Joker, which was freaking hilarious. He was freaking awesome. <laughs> that was a horrible Joker laugh. But um uh, he was, he was pretty cool. There were some, 
There's a this this episode because primarily because it's the freshest one in my mind, and also all the things that happened with the Joker and Riddler, them going off each other, the Penguin just dropping after his wounds, and it was like, ah, oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> but um, also also question before I come up to what happened last episode I love what happened the episode before this one where Nick was at work and he's arguing with the penguin on the phone like no it's clock what did you put down there <laughs> where's the yellow honey mu where's the where's the mustard never mind I found it he's like oh I just love that that was awesome um that was just too dang hilarious and um well, it's, um, and then in this one, like, the part where you see that, um, I forgot her name. Oh, hold on. Sorry, back. Um, like, what I like was when, um, I forgot her name, but the girl that Gordon's now with, as soon as she says, I'm pregnant, I love how the penguin's like, oh, my lord, we're doing this. <laughs> he doesn't say that, but he just rolls his eyes like, oh, jeez. <laughs> Which also, another thing that I like was, I like how... Um, I, I like that part, and then also, what was the other part? That was hilarious. I, I thought it was hilarious. I can't remember what it was, but it was like another cliche, and if I remember correctly, they even say that, oh, um, Gordon's about to, um, Galavan's sister's gonna, um, leave him behind, and she goes, I don't even know you anymore. He's like, Oh, really? This cliche? Kick in the face? I'm like, dang. I love this. I love it. It's like, they're cliches. They know they're cliches. But they're, but they're playing it up. They just play it up. Is like, Gatlin's like, even like, really? <laughs> when I love like how they're like, even tired of it. I'm like, okay. Even if this is a cliche that's been done before, it makes it kind of funny when it's done this way. Which I'm like, fudge, yes. Actually, wait a minute. Okay, that's done. I mean, my CPU is not effing up. But, um, I was like, that's, that's hilarious. Good job, Calvin. You made me laugh. Good job. Um, <laughs> you're an a-hole, but good job. Um, I'm the king of Gotham! But, um, that was really fun. I liked seeing, um, the Joker kick the crap out of Galavan at the end. And then Galvan's like, kill me! I'm like, well... He killed his mother, you a-hole. I'm just happy um, the penguin didn't go ballistic on Gordon when Gordon shot him the frick shot um, Galavan in the face. So I'm like, good job on you, penguin. <laughs> penguin then shoves the umbrella down uh, Galavan's throat. Which honestly, seeing Galavan, seeing penguin pull out the umbrella, I'm like, oh look, <laughs> it's his umbrella. That's what he's known for. <laughs> but I do, I real, I do like this one. I do like this series a lot. At least, like, the second season. First season, again, I liked. But, it, again, that was mostly set up. And as soon as they showed the Batcave, I'm like... Oh, the Batcave! I love the Batcave. I, well, I, I, the Batcave, it does seem kind of small, but they might expand later on. But... The, when, the first episode, I'm thinking, oh, no. I waited so long just to see how they're going to get into this Batcave... And you're gonna drag it out to the whole season until the end, aren't you? No? And he's like the first or second season episode. <laughs> you know this is before 9 11 because Bruce was able to buy a whole bunch of fertilizer to make a bomb, which was hilarious because they're, they're hiding over there like, well, we're either gonna blow up that door or kill ourselves. Fudge! And blows up the door, which is awesome. Also, another thing, I'm assuming, well, they don't really give us a time when this is happening. Like it like it has mafia things and stuff like that, but then it's also like it has mafia things and stuff like that, which I would think, okay, maybe it's like earlier. And also the cars look a lot older, like maybe I don't know, would it be nineteen twenties? I don't know. No, not the nineteen twenties. Cause I don't like TV. It it's it's it feels like it's a mix in time, because it has like older type things of course you have the gothic scenery and stuff like that um it has like those older cooler cars everyone wears a lot of people wear suits and stuff but then it also but then it also feels modern with cell phones though i don't not like you know touchscreen cell phones but cell phones and um 
T and like colored TVs. Uh, so I'm like, okay, well I get, oh no, but so I'm like, this is this is recent, but not very recent, and I'm not sure when the telephones got that small. And somewhere around the '90s. How old would Bruce be now? If he was like 13, then he would be 20, five, six, seven, eight, 28 now. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like like now, like that's why I don't know, but or not now, now. But I mean, like that he's the '90s, so like up to now he would be Batman. I don't know, but this was a very fun ride. This is very fun. I do like everything that was happening. Um, hold on, hold on. sorry, but like I forgot where I left off. But like the the time frame is like strange. The, the what whatever time time it is, it's like I'm not sure when it is exactly. Maybe late '90s. I don't know late or early 90s i don't know uh but or maybe even earlier than that because you know mafia times but then you also have the tvs but yeah and then also the whole thing where bruce was able to fire alfred and then like bruce well, let me see bruce was able to fire alfred which one i'm like well he's not a, well if laws if or if i'm right um laws wouldn't allow that to happen because alfred is Bruce's legal guardian. Unless, of course, there's sometime in the past where that law or whatever hasn't been brought up yet, or that law just wasn't made in the DC universe. But so I would assume that he wouldn't be able to, you know, let that he like that shouldn't be able to happen, or um, Bruce being able to sell his company because he's not 18 yet, and usually laws I believe dictate that you have to be at least 18 to make decisions like that. So. Who knows when this is taking place but yeah like this entire series i do like seeing that like the villains are now coming out more you see different characters i don't know if the Peng i think the penguin is all uh, the penguin the flamingo is a character who pops up a little bit more but i don't know um i love how it like the ending is kind of like the this season finale is like gangster squad <laughs> where they just go to gallivant um, Gordon teaming up with Penguin because even though Penguins like this show makes you root for the Batman villains you usually wouldn't root for. Do you usually root for R Riddler? Not really, no. Although you get Riddler can feel a little taste of his own medicine when his evil side starts putting those riddles everywhere. I'm like, that's how we feel playing the Arkham games. Dang it! <laughs> but those were, but like it's cool seeing the villains meet up. It, you kind of feel like you want these villains to succeed, especially since you know where they're going to end up. Um, and then, like, I just really liked it in the end. In the end, when Jim Gordon... And then, I wonder, like, is Jim Gordon going to get together again with Barbara? Because if he does, that's, you know, going to lead to Batgirl. But I'm wondering if in this universe, unless I miss something at, like, another time or something if i missed like something in the comic books that where he has two another kid which i know he in the movie he has a son so i don't know but if bat no if like jo gordon has a kid with um the woman he's with now i forgot her name liz um we have her name um will she will that child most likely a daughter become batgirl or is it going to be that um, she's that child. I don't know what's gonna happen to her, but then, then at once, sometime Gordon's probably gonna get back with Barbara, or Barbara's gonna do something while Gordon's asleep, and then get pregnant, and then um, have Barbara then, or the daughter Barbara in that case, which then will be um, which then she'll become Batgirl. Who knows? But I feel like, and then the ending after everything happens, the bang, the shoot, the kill, um. The kill of Galavan and everything. After that happens, also wait, hold on. Before that, um, I like after like one. I love, I love Harvey. Also, another th person that I'm, I'm rooting for him now, Harvey, Harvey Bullock, cause holy fudge! Like in the original anime season, like why does he give? I remember like, like why is he giving Batman a hard time? Batman's the good guy. This is like around I don't know ten years ago. I, like Batman's the good guy. Why is this guy giving him crap? Well, I didn't say crap, but why is he giving him crap? And then 
So, like, I'm like, okay. And I, I'm not sure. No, in Batman Year One, the movie, at least, um, I don't remember if Harvey was in that one. But Harvey always gave Batman crap. And then in this one, he, like, I'm like, okay, I don't like this guy. I don't like this Harvey. And then in this one, I'm like, fod, Harvey is awesome. <laughs> Harvey is freaking cool. I love this. Um, but yeah, Harvey Bullock is freaking awesome in this one. He's a smart butt. He's funny. And he even got the last... Well, not the last kill. Um, Gordon got the last kill in this... Well, technically. Um, but Gor but he got the last kill... But he got the last kill in the monk killing. I'm like, fudge, yes. Also like how... Um, how long have I been going on about this? 24 minutes, okay, but I was like, I cut out all the time I was in here, but I like how Gordon, or I also like how, like, when they sent the girl to, like, seduce Bruce again, which, okay, what, like, sicko, no, not really, but, like, he's using her to basically seduce this kid, so I'm like, okay, uh, you're, wait, is that fit for my lip? Sorry, I, I was just looking at something for my... That's not going to be a graphics card. I don't know. But... Yeah, I'm like, okay. Why? Why? But I do like um how... Even though they try to... Also, another thing. Bruce's favorite animal is owls. So, um, Court of Owls, hopefully confirmed. <laughs> but hopefully the Court of Owls will appear at some point. Unless we're actually not learning the backstory of Batman, but we're actually learning the backstory of Owlman, which would be funny. We'd be like, well, that's a twist. Um, but... Um... Yeah, like, I like how, like, um, the whole thing was supposed to try to, like, the girl who's a psychopath, um, but I like how Selina is showing to become Bruce's new, Bruce's love interest, which is awesome, because, you know, Batman Catwoman. But... How she was supposed to seduce Bruce, basically make him love, fall in love with her, and Bruce is like, "No, I don't love you. I pity you." But then, I, but then I also like where she's telling him, "Aren't you afraid of dying?" He's like, "No, I'm actually kind of happy. I'm gonna see my parents again." I'm like, "No, stop that!" <laughs> oh yeah, it's Batman, so I don't think any probably hopefully nothing bad happens. Well, that's we're gonna go a totally different round. Someone else is gonna become Batman. Which, what a twist that would effing be. Um, but yeah, it was pretty... Yeah, like, I did like that. I did like that a bit. You see Bruce is also a hero trying to save Silver by giving her the kiss that she needs so that she doesn't get killed. Um, let me think. Selena's awesome. I like how she's been growing, how she's been jumping sides and everything. Which is freaking... Which is pretty cool. But I do like everything. Um, also, another thing, Alfred. I love Alfred in this series. And in the beginning, I'm like, uh, because I'm used to, not the Nolan, I'm used to the animated series, Alfred, where he doesn't really, where he, I think he does fight every once in a while, but he's mostly a quieter character. He's mostly a quieter character in a sense. He doesn't like, um, and he also has like, if he ever, he sometimes makes smart comments or smart remarks, which I liked. But, um, but he was like, okay, I'm like, okay, that's pretty good. And then we have, like, Batman, I think, Brave and the, not Brave and the Bold. It was the CG Batman one, which, uh, it was all, all right. It was an all right one. Is it, um, told me who Mr. Pig was, kind of, because then when I played Arkham Knight, I'm like, oh, look, it's him. But, or Dr. Pig. But, yeah, like, that, I'm like, okay. What was it? It was, like, uh, but I'm like, okay. Uh, then like, so we have a character similar to the Bra to the CG Batman character. I'm like, okay, he's not. I I like the other Batman. I like the other Alfred. But then as this series goes on, I like this Alfred a lot because one, it fits better for him to be this tough character, especially since he has like a, a military backstory, which he does have, I believe, always. Um, he has his military backstory. And also this bat, and also this Alfred teaches Bruce how to fight and everything. He's basically what who's going to be training Bruce most likely to become Batman, because he is already training himself. Unless Bruce at some point is going to leave to go train around the world, um, but he's what 
Alfred is who's trained Batman right now and like training him to learn all the things they need and like that's awesome I like that this Alfred I do like I do like all these um Bruce I like too because after everything's done said and done after they save Bruce Wayne from being killed by the monks I just love the part where uh Alfred and Alfred and Selena are talk are talking off each other after the beginning where Alfred slapped and they're both saying like they're both saying we told him and he's like yeah we told him and then Bruce's like you guys I had a plan already worked out but thank you anyways for helping and he, they're both like wait what <laughs> which now he's gonna be like did he have a plan or was he effing around or was he just saying that so they would be quiet but or something like that but I I love I like that that was pretty cool Selena again I do like I like how she's and also you kind of see like Bruce and Selena are somewhat similar but then there is that extra step that Selena takes like the killing that one dude who which also separates them which I really like and then um can't really think of any much else but I'll talk about the ending now um the ending where we learn about Hugo Strange is now here so I'm not sure if we've heard about talked about him before but awesome also about um the secret wing of of Wayne Enterprises with all the super villains now there. Okay, I want to see Firefly come back. I liked Firefly. I like her. I'm not sure. I know it's a guy in the Arkham series, and I don't know him in the comic books. I believe so. Firefly was one of my favorite characters in the Batman. So he was awesome. I like how he was flying around. He had like the fire, like the plasma, like the and also the helmet, which I liked. The Firefly in this one with the suit, homemade suit and the goggles. <laughs> and the goggles and stuff like that. Which those goggles look freaking awesome. Especially the whole thing about using fire that she was using. But now the suit's burnt, melted to her skin. So I want to know how that's going to look. Because now she's apparently fireproof. Which, cool. Because if you're fireproof, fudge, you'd be an awesome firefighter. <laughs> but, although I hope they keep the, like... Like how she looked with the goggles and everything masked too, because that would fit pretty well, and I like that. But like, yeah, that secret wing, and I believe that wing is, if that's the same place where they brought the body for of Galavan with the umbrella shoved in his mouth, then I'm assuming that Strange is probably working in Wayne Enterprises or whatnot. But Strange, Hugo Strange, I'm like, okay, okay, cool, cool, we have him in the back. And then the ending comes where we see Gotham, where they always end it with the Gotham coming up with this island of Gotham. And then it frees them, like, oh, really? And then you see the man running down the alleyway. You see, so you see the guy coming, a backpack on his, a backpack with, like, therm, like, things taking temperature, stuff like that, and a gun in hand, chasing the man, chases him to an Eller, pulls up the gun. I'm like, I'm like, freeze. He doesn't say freeze, dang it. But he shoots the ice and then freezes the guy. He also shoots the same ice beam similar to uh, the cold gun in um, uh, The Flash. But actually, and I think Freeze would probably win if it was Freeze versus Captain Cold. Because Freeze can't get hurt by Cold. And Captain Cold um, is really just has the gun to help him. Unless, of course, because I know in the, I believe in the New 52 they gave it to where he actually got ice powers, which I was thinking, like, uh, which, before I saw the Flash TV show and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, cool, like, it's kind of dumb if he just has a gun, like, it'd be cool, like, to have the ice powers go, to shoot the ice from him. Because other than that, I felt like, okay, but watching the, watching the TV show The Flash, um, uh, Captain Cold is one of my favorite characters, which I, which, spoiler alerts for The Flash, he gets his own show. Well, not his own show, he gets a team show, which, that's, which, this entire, actually, I should have said spoiler and then gave you time to click ahead, but, um, he gets a whole thing with a team, which is the entire thing that this entire last season of Arrow and The Flash have been leading up to, but, well, one of the things... But yeah, like that was, that was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And like you just saw Freeze shoot. I'm like, oh come on, just say it. Like, are you trying to be? Is it, are you not doing this because of Batman and Robin? You don't want to add the puns, or because it'd be like too back on the head. I would have loved if he just goes up there, to, and the first words we hear out of um, Doc, 
Dr. Fudge, I forgot his name, Mr. Freeze's mouth. The first thing we hear of Mr. Freeze's mouth is him pointing the gun and just going, Freeze. That, or the other way around for the guy who's being chased, like, Freeze! Like, no, Freeze! And then, just ice. But, oh, I can't wait. It comes back in February, so I just need to wait two months. But, no. January, February. Yeah, two months. Okay. But, well, two, three, well, two months, yeah. But, yeah, I, I can't wait for the next season. This is going to be, the, se the series is getting good. The first season, they had to, like, have, at least I believe the majority of the time, they had to have other characters like you know fish mooney who i'm who's probably not really dead she even though we see her fall i don't we never see her die so most likely she's still alive um the doll the doll maker is a character that's always been there but i forgot what happened to him if he's i don't think he's dead i forgot um fish mooney's probably alive she's she's probably gonna come back so is probably her, her hunchman the guy with the hammer fist now or the hammer fist now he's probably gonna come back he's probably gonna find fish um, like, they had to have a whole bunch of different characters. Like, they had to have the proto-Venom, um, for, uh, to basically set for Bane later on. But they had the proto-Venom character, the story thing. They had the Electrocutioner, which actually, I think he's actually a villain, I'm not sure. But... They had to have a lot of proto-villains, and it kind of felt a lot better in this season... When they have, of course, the regular villains, they have Nigma, Penguin, um, the the Church of Dumas. Like they're able to put more emphasis on these characters than just then, because like that's the beginning. They're setting them up to become these characters, and this season they've already started becoming these characters. So then the third season, you know, should be, or the next part should be continuing, especially since now we have Mister Freeze and stuff, which Freeze and Firefly have similar setups with like you know one has a propane tank the other one has i'm assuming is not nitroglycerin um nitrous oxide i think that's what it was no I forgot what the fudge it was um not nitrous oxide it's the stuff that freezes crap that he that's almost like what's on his backpack till whatever happens to him that's gonna make him into freeze but i like these episodes they're pretty fun. I like, I like these. I like the characters in Gotham. I want to see what's going to happen next, especially with Gordon kind of being um, on the lamb now. So I want to see how that's going to work out. But thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my little review of these. Yeah, tell me what you guys thought about the se seasons. But thank you guys for watching, and we will see you later. I'm the king of Gotham!